running free. No rules, no restrictions. The life we all long for. Being lived not by humans, but by horses. I think they started the show. Maybe we won't barrel race anymore, BG. Maybe you'll be on TV. <laughs> we visited the Equine Center at Tarleton State University on March 5th. Big boy. Unaware that in days, BG, BG, BG. our world would grow increasingly anxious for months. Serenity wasn't the real draw. Science was. So we'll put them in the stalls. Before masks or social distancing, before COVID became our biggest concern. I can actually feel this horse's heart rate going up right now. Researchers here were tracking. You see a little shaking head behavior, a little bit of a, I don't want to do this. How horses. Heart rate is going up. And then we got the horse in there that's vocalizing. Battle concerns of their own. This is just separation anxiety. I got BG whenever he was three years old. I was the one who trained him to, you know, run the barrel pattern. And then we had a horrible fall my junior year and he flipped over, he flipped over top of himself. BG developed PTSD. He would kick anyone. I mean, he would try to buck me off. He would slam me in defenses. Every time we would go to a rodeo and he would act up like that, I would bawl my eyes out and I would just walk him back to the trailer. And I had gotten to the point where I didn't even want to ride anymore because of it. So you just hold your hand out and he's just going to nibble it up. BG is a subject in a study at Tarleton State where Macy Keating is a student. Associate Professor Kimberly Gay is studying the physiological effects of treating anxiety in horses with CBD. What is this? He's being nervous. Oh. He's not, yeah. This is, it hasn't kicked in yet. No. <laughs> Chronic anxiety makes horses sick, like it does in people. Probably my freshman year of high school, I got um, diagnosed with anxiety and we've had to change our medicines up and stuff like that. That admission. I don't see it in her though. Was a surprise. Yeah, Cause you're talking on a camera and. Oh, I was really nervous before I came here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of my students, a lot of people I know were actually using CBD in their horses before it was legal in Texas. The Tarleton research could influence shows and competitions across the country. Many still forbid CBD. Just put it in the corner of their mouth, shoot it in there. Did you see that big breath? That's an indicator of relaxing. If they are being our companions, I think it's important that we make their life acceptable. BG is back to racing, back to being a source of strength. He, he's like my whole world, honestly. I mean, he calms me down. They are good therapy. Horses ease our anxieties. I'm so thankful that this horse can stay in my life because I honestly don't think that I can find another horse that I love as much as I love him. Maybe we owe it to them to ease theirs too. In Stephenville, I'm Teresa Woodard.